here I've got this little motor here that I pulled out of a VCR and uh, you can see it's got a, a worm gear on the shaft here it's just a tiny little thing it's running off this 12 volt battery and here we'll make a measurement and then we'll do a power prediction and then we'll take an actual power measurement and see how close we get uh, in the percentage of error between our prediction and our actual measurement so I've got this meter here hooked up on uh, to measure the ohms of resistance in the motor and as you can see it's uh, on ohms and we've got uh, 23.2 ohms 23 I'm just going to turn this a little bit this, I'm going to turn the uh, motor here as I turn that a little bit you'll see it change and it settles turn it again so we've got 22.8 ohms so we'll write that down the resistance here is 22.8 and then we'll take a measurement on the battery voltage and we have 12.35 so we'll write that down 12.35 so electrical power used we take the voltage which is 12.35 and the resistance which is 22.8 so we take the voltage, plug that in here, turn this on, 1, 2.35, and we divide it by 22.8, and that gives us 5.54. So we go over here, we write 0.54 amps. And to figure this out, um, we times the voltage, which is 12.35, times the predicted or calculated amp draw, which is 0.54. So we'll take that number, that 0.54, and we'll time, times it by 112.35. And that equals 6.68 so we'll call it 6.7 so over here and we go 6.7 watts so now I'm going to change this uh, meter over I'm going to put this connection over here into the amp see it's for 20 amp and um, we'll turn this motor on and see what it actually draws okay so now I've got this hooked over here we'll turn this on as we can see it's on the 20 amp scale and it's hooked into the amp meter part here okay we got zero it's not on we got 12.35 volts in the battery and then we'll take some measurements while it's running and we'll actually stop this and see what kind of load we get on the motor so I'll hook this up as you can see as you can see as I uh, touch it it spins so we'll put that on there and we'll take a We'll load it down and we'll take a voltage reading. As we can see, it's only drawing 0 0.04 amps while it's just spinning. Well, it's just spinning um, on its own with no load on it. So we'll load it down and we'll take a measurement. So there, I'm loading it down right to there. It's actually stopped. So there, we'll, we've got 0.55 amps and we've got 12.28 volts. You see, loaded it right down. So we'll write that down. I'll show you again, actually, one more time. 0.53, it goes down a little bit, so we'll say 0.53. So the voltage was, uh, again, we'll 12.29. Voltage, 12.29. And the amps was 0.53. And again, I'll just show you when I when I stop this. I mean, I can stop it so easily. It's it's barely even spinning fast. Nothing really. I mean, it's very easy to stop and hold. And again, the amps 0.52. Battery's gone down a little bit, 0.126. But that's good enough for our measurements here. So I'm going to take this off, and uh, we'll go one two point. To nine times point 
five three equals six point five six point five one we'll just call it six point seven so six point five so our error will divide uh, six point five divide by six point seven equals ninety seven percent so ninety seven percent accurate which gives an error equaling uh, three percent so a three percent error from our measurement and our pr power prediction to our actually actual power measurement we had a ninety seven percent uh, accuracy and uh, and it's drawing actually 6.5 watts so remember that number 6.5 we'll compare it to our uh, the big machine